So um, we have Myra and Per tonight. And who would like to go first? So should we flip a coin? Uh, we uh, we've decided. Oh, you have. OK, wow. Yeah, I, I'm going to go first. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. We had some great talks last week. Uh, I really enjoyed them. So. So, oh, I forgot. I am going to make you co-host and I'm going to make Myra co-host. And now you should be able to share your screens. All right, everyone see my screen? Yep. Okay. So I need to move this to side. So if you put it into presenter mode, um, you got it. Okay, so can you see it as one big screen, not the presenter view? You yep, can see it, We right? can see it, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start now. Uh, so hi, everyone. My name is Per Law, and in this presentation, I'm going to be talking about arm wrestling. Uh, arm wrestling has been, a, I would say, a substantial part of my life the last uh, five years. So I, I'm going to talk about my experience with it, why I like it, and uh, hopefully by the end of this, talk, arm is something that you might um, get into. So the title of this um, talk is a brief introduction to arm wrestling. Um, and to make it more interesting, I, uh, I've created a secondary title, which is how to be your friends with techniques and strategy. Because later on in this talk, I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, some moves, some tricks. Uh, so, so yeah. So can I do next? So the contents of the presentation, I'm going to go through some history, some almost history. So the major events um, that has happened for arm wrestling throughout history. I'm also going to talk about what arm wrestling means to uh, the country Canada. Um, uh, how popular it is in uh, in this country, and then we, we'll move on to the 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 tricks, uh, the, the different moves that are carried out during an arm wrestling, arm wrestling match, and then we're gonna finish up with uh, the future of arm wrestling. So, uh, what it will look like in a few years or in a decade, and how you can get involved. So my first question for you guys is before today, uh, did you know that arm wrestling is, was a professional sport? Maybe raise your hand if you knew that. Oh, wow, more than I thought, 50%. <laughs> uh, okay, so first of all, what is arm wrestling? So arm wrestling is a contact combat sport where you get to use your, your hand and your whole body to try to pin your opponent uh, on a pin pot. So you can use many characteristics, um, such as strength, speed, lots of different physical attributes, even mental attributes as well to, to help you become a, a champion in arm wrestling. Uh, arm wrestling can be also be a recreational activity where two people sit facing each other, uh, they lock hands and try to force each other's arm down to a designated surface, usually a table. Uh, the goal is to overpower your opponent's arm and to pin it to the table while keeping your arm upright like this. Uh, so it's a test of strength, uh, techniques as well, and endurance between two individuals using their arms and uh, upper body muscles. So now, why would you... Uh, arm wrestle if you're not an arm wrestler, if you don't have a love for arm wrestling. Uh, arm wrestle will give you a functional upper body strength through your hand. So, so much of strength that we train in the gym uh, is lacking this. So for example, bodybuilder, power lifter, 
uh, regular gym goer. Uh, but when 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 you arm wrestle and when you train specifically for arm wrestling, you're going to be able to use your strength in your body and channel it through your hand to a much much more uh, greater degree of efficiency. Now, arm wrestling has been around for many. Uh, it's been a long, long time. Um, so arm wrestling likely traces by its root back to age, even ages time when contests of strength and skills were a common forms of entertainment and competition. So references to arm wrestling like activity can be found in historical context, uh, text and artwork from ancient civilization. As you can see uh, on the left, figure there, you can see that there's an artwork from a long time ago in Egypt. So first, uh, uh, in terms of history, uh, back in 1952, uh, there was an event called World Res Wrestling Championship that was held in Petaluma, uh, California in the United States. Now this event, was organized by Bill Soborins and uh, friend, and it was considered one of the uh, one of the earliest formal arm wrestling competitions. And this event was uh, important because it played a significant role in the development of competitive arm wrestling as a sport. As you can see on the right here, we have two competitors from that event. Uh, Race wrestling, that's why they call it back then. Now, moving on to 1960 to 1970, um, the sport was growing. Uh, every year from 1960 to 1970, there was at least one tournament. Uh, through that, throughout that de decade, more, uh, more people were getting into arm wrestling, so there were more weight classes from lightweight to heavyweight to a super heavyweight. Even women started arm wrestling back then. Back in uh, 1960 to 1970, they arm wrestled competitively. And then, okay, now in the 1980s, um, arm wrestling was uh, getting bigger. So there was a, um, a movie that came out in 1987 called Over the Top. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. This is before I was born, so uh, it's been a long time. Um, so this movie was uh, an American sport drama film. It was directed by Golan and starring Sylvester Stallone. I'm sure you guys have seen one of his movies. still popular. Um, so the film tells the story of a truck driver played by Stallone, who competes in professional arm wrestling to win by the affection of uh, his estranged son. Um, so this is a part of arm wrestling history because it, it brought arm wrestling to, uh, to mainstream exposure. So over the top, brought arm wrestling into the mainstream. The film was widely promoted and reached a large audience, exposing many people to the sport for the first time through uh, Hollywood, through movies. So it was a significant uh, period of uh, arm wrestling. Um, it also, this movie also inspired many viewers to take interest in arm wrestling. People, I think during that time, you hear story of people going to school and they start arm wrestling in a cafeteria. Um, people challenging random people on the street after this movie came out. So. This movie played a significant role in growing uh, arm wrestling. Um, so that is one uh, one significant part of the history of arm wrestling. And I go into the next stage of arm wrestling to, through 2015 to 2019. Um, there was two pro promotion uh, league that was uh, prominent called WAL World Arm Wrestling League and Professional Arm Wrestling League. Um, that was situation in Europe. So you can see here, it was on ESPN. So that allowed Armistice to be exposed to the mainstream even further. 
And then we move on to the present day. There's many other promotion, but the two most prominent leagues are uh, East versus where are wrestling, uh, which is stationed in Turkey. And this is considered the highest um, level of arm wrestling because the, it's meant to bring the best arm wrestler from the East against the best arm wrestler from the West. And there's also another promotion in Dubai called King of the Table. On the right image here is uh, one of the events that was uh, held in Dubai. And uh, you can see that one of the competitors is uh, from Canada, Le Larry, Devin Larry. And uh, he's actually the, the, a professional arm wrestler that I train with regularly each week. So, so yeah, so that's a little bit of history of for arm wrestling. Now in terms of uh, arm wrestling, how, how did it grow? Um, there's many factors. One of them is increased organization structure. So over time, arm wrestling enthusiasts began to organize informal competition and events at local bars, gyms, and community centers. There's also formation of a government body. So each country has its own government body for arm wrestling. And because of, you know, now there's so many social media sites, uh, arm wrestling is allowed to be promoted through Facebook, TikTok, uh, Snapchat, although it help arm wrestling to grow um, and also the professionalization of the sport. Now there's more money involved in the sport. So it, it allowed uh, people to get into uh, to the sport. Now, in terms of arm wrestling in Canada, uh, there's a government body that was found, founded in 1976. It's called Canadian Arm Wrestling Federation. Uh, now, in Ontario, there's actually over 50 clubs of arm wrestling, uh, including Culture Arms, which is a club that I created on campus. I don't know if you heard of it, but if you would like to join, you're welcome to join anytime. Uh, just contact me. And then in terms of arm wrestling in Canada, Devin Lara is actually uh, a prominent figure, uh, not just in Canada, but throughout the world. He is currently ranked number one in the world right now. So any human on the planet, he is number one. Doesn't matter how big you are, uh, he's number one on the planet. Uh, he's considered one of the greatest of all time. Um, and he's also the most well-known professional arm wrestler. He has over 1 million followers across his social media. So, so yeah, so that's arm wrestling in Canada. Uh, I would like to tell you about an event that's coming out soon. It's on, uh, uh, in, on April 20th. So in a few months, uh, it's going to be held in Turkey. And he, De Valera is going to go and guess someone from Georgia uh, for the number one arm wrestling championship in the world. So whoever wins this match is considered to be the best arm wrestler in the world. Now let, let, let's go into the fun part, showing you the different moves. So one of the basic move in arm wrestling is called a hook. So I'm going to uh, go through the different movements. So to perform a hook, first you want to bend your wrist. And what we call that in arm wrestling is called cupping. So you want to bend your wrist really hard. And you can see in the second photo here, just like that, you want to bend your wrist. And then from there, you want to drag your elbow towards you, towards your body, backwards. Okay? So that's the second step. And then to finish the move, you want to pull, you, pull your opponent and push it toward the pain pad, just like that uh, on, on, the, on the third photo here. So that's one of the moves in arm wrestling is bending your wrist, dragging your elbow back, and then pull your opponent's hand towards the pain pad. So that's one of the main moves in arm wrestling. Now, another move in arm wrestling is called a top rope. This is a different move that 
um, it's I would say it's more efficient than the, the, the other move because it's attacking your opponent's uh, smaller muscles. So the smaller, uh, so, so your fingertips. So how do you do it? So basically you want to rise your arm like this way, as you can see in the second photo. And then you want to use your pronator muscles. So you want to apply your pronation movement, uh, pulling your opponent, putting the pressure on your opponent's fingers. I can see on you right there. And then again, just like the, diff the other move, you want to follow through and pull your elbow backwards, pulling your opponent's arm to the pain pad. Now the last move is called a press. Again, you want to start it in a neutral position, just, uh, just like that. Now, instead of pulling this time, you want to bring your shoulder in. As you can see uh, in the second photo there, I'm bringing my shoulder in very close to where my opponent. And then instead of pulling this time, you want to push it, push it, push your opponent's uh, hand uh, to the pain pad just like you see on the third uh, photo there. So those are the three arm wrestling moves that uh, you, can, uh, you can perform the next time you try to arm wrestle. Uh, top row, press, and uh, a hook. Now the future arm wrestling is, now there is gonna be more talents than ever because of social media, uh, because of the increased popular popularity through social media. There will be more money involved, so more incentive for people to join, um, to compete and earn, earn some money. And what we're hoping in Canada right now is for the government to fund arm wrestling team so that uh, uh, more people can get involved and uh, to put our country in a world stage. And we also want to incorporate uh, arm wrestling into physical education curriculum in, in schools like high school or middle school. Now, how do you join uh, arm wrestling? Well, you can, there's so many clubs in Ontario, uh, go online and you just search out arm wrestling and you will see many videos. And what you do is you just message them and people who are involved in arm wrestling, uh, now they're very welcome. So they welcome everyone from children, women, uh, anyone. So it's very easy to join. Um, so here's my references. So if you would like to learn more about arm wrestling, you can go to uh, some of these sites that I have included over here. So that's arm wrestling. Um, talk from me. Uh, any questions? Good job, Perth. <laughs> Interesting topic. Um, questions for Perth? Um, I have a question. Yeah. So I, I've seen videos online of like people breaking their arms, um, arm wrestling. <laughs> How common is that? Or is that like, um, is that like a, a poor technique kind of thing? Or does that just like happen sometimes? Or what? what's what's up with that? I would say, it. yeah, the safety in arm wrestling is very important. It can happen uh, easily if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so that's why uh, we encourage people to join an arm wrestling club because the first time you go to the club, they will teach you how to be safe, right? Um, I would say the most common break is the uh, the arm here, the, the spiral here. So people break their arm because they're in a bad position, right? They're in a bad position and they don't know that they're in a bad position. So Basically, to, to be safe, you, you want to be able to, you want to want to keep your arm closer to your body and not away from your body like that, right? So that's one of the things that we teach when uh, people come to our clubs. And uh, the first thing we tell them to do is to keep their arm inside their body instead of outside like that to not get injured or break, break your bone, right? So that I would say that's the most important thing to remember is to keep your arm inside your body just like this when you arm wrestle uh, to to be to be safe. 
Yeah, and it's it's easy once you learn to be safe. It's I would say it's very difficult to to get um uh, to get to get injured at all. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes <clears throat> see Per with his table going off to do his arm wrestling club at night outside of the uh, office of Nesbitt there. Mm -hmm. And I recognize your wrestling partner in some of your pictures there, Andres Dobai, who's a lab coordinator in biology. So, <laughs> oh yeah, he's uh, he's one of the I would say one of the founders. Oh yeah, for the club, yeah, we started uh, the club together. How much does um how much does body weight uh, play into the success of arm wrestling? Uh, so arm wrestling has weight classes. Uh, once you get to a higher level, let's say provincial level, regional level, even professional level, um, that's when weight becomes a factor. But arm wrestling is not just uh, strength and weight. It's also technique, strategy. Um, I would say it plays a big role when you start it out. Uh, I, I would say, no, actually, no. It plays a big role when, when you get to a higher level, like professional level, uh, because uh, both competitors are going to have a lot of uh, experience and they're going to know what to do. So any advantage, even 50 pounds, even, I would say even 10 pounds will, will play a big factor. Um, but when, when you just started out, someone... 150 pounds can be 240 pounds if the 240 pound person doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, and a lightweight like, like me uh, has been doing it uh, for a little while. And I can be most people uh, that don't know what they're doing. Uh, and, and they are, uh, they're, they're like a heavyweight, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bert. Yeah. Any other questions? If uh, not, I had okay. one um, about the the training. So like I used to play hockey and football and a lot of like the training and practicing is running drills and like developing certain skills. Is there anything the same with arm wrestling or is most of the training like in the gym with like conditioning and that kind of thing? Yeah, so arm wrestling it's a very it's a very specialized sport. It's a strength sport, but it's very specialized because uh, your weapon or your point of contact is through the hand, right? So we spend a lot of time working off our our arms, specifically our our hand strength, right? Um, so in terms of how to get better, um, I would say table time. So the time on the table, arm wrestling with people is very important when you first start it out. Learning the technique uh, first, uh, learning how to be safe and learning the technique. And then you can, uh, from there you can start including, okay, doing a bicep curl, curl in the gym. Uh, for arm wrestling, we, we, we use a lot of pulley system, you know, a, a, pull, a pulley system that has the weight and you do a pulling motion, uh, an arm wrestling motion, rather than, uh, for example, a deadlift or uh, a bench press. You would you would uh, see arm wrestling try to do as, uh, try to increase their weight for the bench press rather than um, the, using the, the pulley system. So, so yeah, we spend most time on the table, arm wrestling another person rather than going to the gym, get it bigger. Yeah. And I and I'm saying that because uh, uh, I learned that from a, a professional arm wrestler. So if he says that, then you you just gotta you know trust it. He spend a lot of time on the table rather than go to the gym and get big there. Yeah. Any other questions? I think you have your table set up in the uh, basement of the nickel building in the tunnels. Yeah, yeah, that's that where, where we are. Yeah, that's where we are. Okay. Uh, once, once a week. So, so yeah, uh, that's how I take a picture there. <laughs>
<laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Per. Great Thank job. You. And...